Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastrini. And I'm currently showing more intensity than the average baseball game. Uh oh, shots fired. Well, I know we're, we're not really sports guys. Uh, we don't really watch sports. I don't want to... I watch the Red Sox from time yeah. to time. I don't want to get up in, the, up in the face of anybody who enjoys baseball. But if you are somebody who thinks uh, baseball is kind of boring, uh, SNK had a game for you. And that game is Super Baseball 2020. And we're here, we're playing the Sega Genesis version. So this is how baseball is going to be in the near future. Yes. Apparently. Yes. Well, it wasn't quite so near when the game originally came out in Neo Geo in 91. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> let, let's not forget, like, the Transformers animated movie took place in, what, 2002? Uh, 2001? I think, actually, yeah, something like that. Uh, like, Evangelion happens in the, uh, I like, Third Impact, which is supposed to have destroyed most of, uh, most of humanity, happened in 99. Two, so, <laughs> 2001, A Space Odyssey? Yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. Which is good, because that movie was slow yeah. and boring. It's, it's an awful movie to listen to. It's they, awful. Need, they need to cut like an hour out of it, and it'd be a good movie. You know, I've, I've never had the opportunity to sit down and like actually watch it. I think I would like it better if I watched it. But like, I was working at a video store um, on New Year's Day 2001, and, like, and I, opened the, yeah, I opened the store, so I thought, you know... The, we have to watch 2001 because this is the first day of 2001. And I put it on, and then I'm working. You know, I can't sit there and watch the movie. And all I can do is listen to it. I'm here. Oh, yeah, there are times when it's literally just like the mic is inside the space helmet, and all you hear is. Yeah. And uneasy music, and then it takes like three hours for something to happen. And there are scenes scene. where there aren't any music, just the breathing. Yeah. Which I get. When you have visuals to go along with it, but when you don't, it's like, what's going on? But the on? visuals, <laughs> they, you know how, like, Michael Bay movies are all spectacle and no story? Mm. Imagine that, but with the practical effects of, like, basically, imagine any of the flight scenes in Star Wars, but with no action, and it's half the movie. Like, the Millennium Falcon just kind of doing this. Is half the movie. Well, okay. I feel like bagging on 2001 Space Odyssey really, really off topic. <laughs> but anyway, 19 years in the future of that, we play Super Baseball. Yes. Yes. So, uh, again, this was originally a Neo Geo game uh, developed by SNK in a mysterious company named Palace. Like, uh, I, I guess as in Palace Athena. I don't know. But I... I don't know anything about them. I couldn't find anything about them. They seem to have done like a handful of games and disappeared as mysteriously as they appeared. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, one other game I saw that they worked on was uh, Eight Man, uh, which was one of the like very few licensed games for Neo Geo. It's based on, uh, I think there's a manga. There's definitely an anime. Yeah, that. I got and, nothing. Yeah. I just but, think of Monkey from Dexter's Laboratory when you say that. So. Ape Man? Uh, uh, no, Eight. Eight. Oh. Number Eight, yes. Oh, that's yeah. awkward. Yeah. Mm. No, no. Yeah. I thought, anyhow, though, this is, uh, strangely enough, I mean, EA isn't normally in the business of taking other people, even back then, I don't think they were really in the business of taking other people's games that had been released on other systems and porting them. But uh, they did it this time. Yeah. Uh, specifically the Genesis version. Uh, the Super Nintendo version was released by like, Trade West or someone like that. Trader! I forget. It started with a T. Six pins. I didn't write it down because it's not super relevant since we're not playing that version. Uh, this is supported by a company called New FX. Uh, New FX is uh, no longer around. They were actually acquired by EA in 2004 and became EA Chicago. Ah. People may have heard of EA Chicago. They were responsible for NBA Street. They, I believe they did several of uh, uh, the Fight Night games, uh, the boxing game. So they were one of uh, EA's bigger studios for a while, and then they closed them because that's what EA does with all the studios they buy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> just, just you wait, Bioware. <laughs> you signed on with the AA. Your names are numbered. I mean, I don't know. I think Bioware might manage to stick around. They managed to pump out good games. You know, so, so did uh, all the other <laughs> development studios EA bought. They closed them all eventually. No one can survive. There can only be one. Yes. EA closes everything. Yeah, they're lo- they- <laughs> their slogan shouldn't be challenge everything. It should be closes everything. <laughs> Anyhow. We talk on EA a lot in this show. Oh, that's just terrible. It's, uh... We do. It's not even intentional. It's just... Well, there's a reason they were voted the most hated company in America two years in a row. Which I think is... I will actually go ahead and say it's not warranted because there are much worse companies in America than EA. And they haven't even killed anybody that no, we know uh, of. Yeah. <laughs> but there are, there are companies that do worse things than displease people who play video games. So... But anyway. Anyhow, so, you know, this is, um, of course, futuristic baseball. And what would baseball be like in the future, is obviously? It, is it baseball or is it spaceball? It's, it's still on Earth. It's, it's baseball. But it's baseball that features robots and cyborgs. Uh, because, of course, everyone, robots and cyborgs will be playing baseball in the future, obviously. Yes. In the far-off yeah. future of yeah. 2020. Oh, yes. Yeah, so basically uh, you've, you've got your human players which are wearing, like, armor to increase their abilities. Uh, skeletons. Yes, they've, they've uh, integrated the, uh, both men and women, so men and women playing baseball alongside robots. Well, that's good. They finally integrated genders, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to happen by 2020. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the most unrealistic, unrealistic part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh. Also, it, it doesn't doesn't feature Tom Hanks yelling at the the female player for crying. Uh, there's no crying in baseball. Uh, this the uh, arcade version is actually seems to be styled as 2020 Super Baseball. So that's odd. So this one is Super Baseball 2020, but the arcade one was 2020 Super Baseball. And I think it's also 2020 Super Baseball like. Universally in Japan, so mm. small tidbit. If people are are looking into this, uh, this is maybe something... they had a, a case of Sidney Oliak's dyslexia. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. Okay, uh, and I would mention uh, this: is the uh, name of the stadium that the game takes place in is the Cyber Egg Stadium, which kind of sounds weird until you realize it's actually based on the Tokyo Dome. Uh, Tokyo Dome has like an oval big oval dome um it's which led to it having the nickname of the big egg Mm -hmm. so because this is in the future it's now the cyber egg yes so there you go that's uh that's where that came from future future cyborgs and robots playing baseball yeah cats and dogs living together mass hysteria yes and i want to play the game at least long enough to get to this uh (laughs) there is a point at which they put landmines out in the outfield, so you have to you have to avoid landmines while fielding, <laughs> which is actually it's actually not very difficult. There, you, you don't run into them very often, but uh, there are there are landmines because baseball will have to be made more exciting in the future, just like, like Futurama predicted with Blurnsville. Future, making a SpongeBob reference. Okay. You're probably not getting it. No, not at all. Squidward accidentally travels to the future in order to avoid SpongeBob. Because... Of course, he's still there. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, yeah. there he he is SpongeTron. Gotcha. Welcome to the future. Mm. Everything's Chrome in the future. Yeah. If you want to reference they, it, I, they I, finally I, got rid of Internet Explorer and Safari. Everything is Chrome. There you go. Well, I mean. And if you want a reference I can get on board with, like, welcome to the world of tomorrow. <laughs> he does that to everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, one last, uh, before we get to the world of tomorrow, the far, far-fung future of 2020. 
I mean, at least by 2020, we'll know who Ray's parents are. Yes. If she even has parents. Yes. But that's but, another tangent. Yeah, one other tidbit I do want to mention uh, is, uh, of course, uh, SNK has a more realistic baseball series called Baseball Stars. And there are, you know, obviously some similarities. So, if uh, what does SNK stand for anyway? So I'm uh, thinking Super Nitro Con. No, it's Shin Nihon Kikaku. King. No, I think that's wrong. I'm thinking. I think I'm thinking of the wor- wrong word. But it's something like a uh, new Japanese plan or something like that. It was interesting. Yeah, it's not a very exciting acronym actually. Which is why they just go by SNK. They actually, uh, they actually went. They've gone back to being SNK. Well, SNK has a complicated history, where uh, there was the original SNK company, which was bought out by uh, Ruse, which uh, didn't really care about making video games and just wanted their properties for the Pachinko machines. Pachinko. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, they basically ran SNK out of business, and then uh, a new company founded by the founder of SNK. Uh, called Playmore, uh, was eventually able to acquire all uh, SNK's IP. Uh, they renamed themselves to SNK Playmore once they had all of SNK's oh. assets and were making games again. And uh, not too long ago, they actually decided to just drop the Playmore and just go back to being called SNK. Nifty. Yes. So yeah, there you go. That's the modern SNK. Uh, it is technically not the same company, but it is at least had a... Founded by the same guy. So. No, if only we could get Lucas Arts back. Yeah, yeah. I or at least you know, hopefully Disney will like at least license the games out for remakes and re-releases. Yes. I mean, they did they did do that with uh, Grim Fandango and Day of the Tentacle. So why make Battlefront two when you can just reskin the original Battlefront two? Just just to re-release just it. Take H- take HD remake. Take all of your assets. That you made all the really good. Well, speaking of studios adaptive. that EA closed, <laughs> Pandemic isn't around anymore. <laughs> See, they close everything. Take all the assets that you use for the new Star Wars Battlefront, take the gameplay from the old Star Wars Battlefront, and just merge them. And you will sell a bajillion copies. Okay, let's stop hopping on EA. Okay. <laughs> and play the game. Woo! You sure? Baseball. Electronic Arts. Yeah, that is their old school logo. Look at that. They haven't used that in a long time. A long time ago. Yeah. In a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, there we go. So we, here we got the, our tell screen. I like how they thought like a like a old school uh, a computer thing was futuristic back then. <laughs> Super Baseball 2020. Super Baseball 2020. Oh, that's fast. Oh, actually, this is this is useful. So this is giving us uh, time. Oh, we got the controls too. Probably because this was originally an arcade game. Nice. Yeah. So we don't need to watch this. Yeah. So there's a big line drive right down the middle. Oh, we caught it. It's actually, it's actually good that we saw that, because I don't know what the chances of us doing that are. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want you to ask me your password, so we're going to do one player versus two player. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, this is two player. It's a baseball game, man. <laughs> I don't play baseball games. Okay, but I I'm, mean, you... Never have I owned or played a baseball game. Okay. Well, um, we got a timer, so we're going to keep going. So we got two leagues. You got the exciting league. And the Fighting League. Uh, we're actually going to end up doing the Fighting League because never would I not be the Ninja Black Sox. I mean, why would I even want to be any other team? Mechanical Brains. Mechanical Girls Brains are interesting. Cause Tropical Girls. There we go. Tropical Girls is an all-women team. Uh, let's see who's got... Uh, okay, so ERA, you want it to be low. I, I made the mistake of going with, with, with high numbers because I didn't until my uh, cousin was like, uh, you know, you want that number to be as low as possible. It's earned runs, so like the lower the number, the, the lower runs, the fewer amount of runs on average that... Uh, oh, we were choosing a pitcher. Yes, we were choosing the pitcher. All right, so um, I believe I am batting first. 
Uh, on batting, A is bunt, C is swing. Uh, you will want to uh, throw the ball with the C button. Uh, if I had someone on base, you could hit the uh, B button to try to pick them off. All right, nice. Also, oh, oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, just get under the, just get under the shadow. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh that was a mistake. I don't want to do that. All right, before you slow the next pitch. What? This is. What? Oh, okay. I'm still pitching. Yes. Uh, let, oh. me, let me pause the game briefly. Uh, before you throw the next pitch, uh, it's important to note that uh, this is not being a terribly realistic game, and also because really it was kind of hard to do back then, uh, the game lets you control the pitch after you throw it. Okay. So you can kind of curve it a little bit. Uh, if you want to throw a slower pitch, hold up, faster pitch is down, and you just kind of curve it left and right to try to strike me out. Okay. Um, while we're on the screen, you notice cash. Uh, every time you do something good, like uh, getting a good hit, getting bases, you get money. You can use the, use that to money. power up your team. Obviously, I, I can't do that yet because uh, I don't have any money. I actually don't usually uh, spend too much time uh, powering up. Ah, see? Strike Ruski. Nice. Good work. Now you gotta remember though, you gotta get it across the air. Uh... Oh, oh no, uh, it's gonna be foul. Uh oh, alley alley. Oh, Ouch. you got it. Nice, good catch. One other thing I will tell you before you uh, throw the next pitch: uh, when you're throwing to a base, it's uh, they basically the uh, your D-pad represents the diamond. So. Okay. Strike Instead of rolling skiing. in the direction you want to throw the ball, like like an absolute direction, you just want to press the... Oh, Strike Ruski! You just want to hold the direction for... Uh... Strike wow. Ruski! You want to hold the direction for the bear. Yeah, my team has a bunch of uh, uh, very appropriate ninja names. My pitcher's name is Dorothy. Yes. Whoa! Hit it right to you. Right to me. Right to you. It's fun. Hey, uh, I made money. Uh, I made two thousand nine hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, well, probably because right. you struck out a couple of my pitchers. Yeah. A couple of my batters, rather. Another th uh, thing to uh, keep in mind. I, I wanted to mention that we didn't uh, didn't end up uh, using them. Blast it. But uh, the metal slashers have like a, of a, or rather, the metal brain. The robot, all robot team has a bunch of like references in their team name. They're ridiculous. They're like they got like the team members like Johnny Six. Oh. Uh, they've, they've got uh, D two R. Oh my god. <laughs> R two, you know, like stuff like that. I waited too long. Pitch on Mac, like. Susan. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so again. So. Montane, swing well, up yeah, I, I know how to swing, just I don't know you move around how it actually lines up. Yeah, you can move around to get it in a better position for where I'm, I'm pitching at you. Technique I use technique a lot is to kind of like you know make it look like to be foul and move it into the strike zone at the yeah, last minute. I, I don't even know what's going on. Well, you got some money. Would you like to try powering up your uh, player? I don't do this a lot. Because I will I've often like there uh, are no your batter is Jessica, so if you want to power her up, she's right there. So you can, uh, yeah, you can uh, get uh, one of these uh, power ups. Robot power. You can replace her with a robot, or you can give her one of these uh, things, better armor to give her better abilities. Well, it looks like you can only afford the A. Uh, the C is the most powerful. So now, if you get a hit, there'll be. Uh, Improved by I think 15%. I'm gonna miss. Probably. That's no. Oh, oh, oh. That's why I uh, often don't. Oh, really? I thought she had it. That's why I often don't use the power ups suffy. because then I immediately like miss and then waste the money. Yep. I am suffy. All right. What are we gonna miss on this one? All right. Well, let me. We'll pause it quick again because uh, we have time. So. Uh, if you want your uh, player to move ahead to the next base, it's B in the direction of the base you're running to. Okay. Uh, if you need to go back, again, C in the direction of the base you're going back to. Okay. And that's how it determines what player you're moving. Okay. 
Also, after I've thrown the ball, you can attempt to steal. Though you have to watch out then, because, you know, obviously that makes you uh, vulnerable for me to catch you out. And there are various, like, real baseball rules that I can, that this game ignores, but I don't know enough about baseball to, uh, yeah, this is what I would do if I wanted to catch you out if you were trying to steal. Okay. I don't know enough about baseball to, uh, to explain how this is uh, not following the actual rules of baseball, so I'm not going to bother. Damn. Yeah, this game, I... this game is pretty hard. The fielding is... Uh, a lot of the feeling, the feeling is irrelevant. I mostly don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Now we set the crackers. So these are the landmines. So you uh, you have to avoid those when you're, you're feeling. Okay. No, oh, I got a robot now. Robots in disguise. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I shouldn't have swung at <laughs> that. You can also you can actually bean players. Uh, you will be uh, fined like two thousand dollars and. Uh, erg, uh, erg, erg. I don't. Where are my players? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I made it. Oh, that's right. That's not how that works. Yep. Yeah, so uh, that's another one of the differences. Yeah. Uh, most of the, you see the big home run zone in the background. Most of the field, most of the, uh, the stands have uh, a roof on them. Okay. So you actually can't get a home run anywhere but that uh, home run zone. But because... Uh, oh Where are my players? Because of... Uh, if you, but if you hit it high enough on the on the roof, it'll take a while to roll back into bounds. So that gives you a chance to get like a infield home run. Uh, that was no good. Where are my players? You know, I used to play this game all the time with my cousin, and oh, he hit me with the pitch. You, you, you just walked around there. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. See, one to nothing. Oh, I had the I bases loaded, the and, and you walked, uh, and you walked my guy. Uh, basically, the game uh, came down to who made the fewest errors rather than who played better. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have swung at that. Uh, it's only one out so far. Oh, was that a good hit? Ah, you caught it. One other interesting thing that I, I saw online that I, I had no idea about. Apparently, uh, the game randomly selects a lucky player at the start of each game. Ooh, 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 can we make it? Ah, oh, you caught me out at first. Or I caught you out at home. Yes, that's what I meant to say. All right. Here we go. There we crackers. go. Now we set the crackers. It even has a little voice clip. So as you can see, they're, they're kind of uh, put out randomly. So you got to want to be careful okay. while you're building. But, uh, as I mentioned in the opening, they're actually not that big a deal. You don't... Shouldn't swing that. You don't really run into them that much. That's bad. That wasn't even on the strike zone. <laughs> yeah, see? It's all about psychots. All about psychots. This uh, definitely moves a lot faster than real-life baseball. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's not going to be any good. Now I'm getting the hang of the controls. Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh. Foul ball. It was. Truly foul. I thought I could get that. He had another really super generic ninja name, Sasuke. There you go. Oh. I was thinking that was my pitch. Well, it might, might end up being fair. I'm going to... I'm gonna... Nope. See where I am. All right, not bad. Got the second base. And we're not going to follow that up. <laughs> Boy, I, th I thought I could get that one. Oh! <laughs> ah, too bad. Not a good inning for me. 
Okay, let's see if I can actually hit something. All right. We'll see. Oh, oh, looks like I get even more crackers. That's exciting. Oh, really? Oh, I get a handicap here? Tricky. Oh, wow. So just like real baseball, you can't uh, you can't strike out in the foul ball. Super ultra powered. No. Yep, there you go. Do I have to win my fielders? Yeah, you can do another power up. Let's do a power up. All right, so you're on Debra. See? Yeah. So you might be able to afford uh, robot power up. Uh, if you want. What's uh, a robot power up do? You replace your player with a uh, robot. See. Robots in disguise. Uh, the robots have great stats, but uh, when they uh, when they break down, they become uh, they're they're worse than uh, than uh, human players. I don't know. Okay. Basically, when uh, if if it, if your robot gets too tired and breaks down, it, its stats become like really bad. Like a human player, they have their base stats that they return to if their power up wears Ooh. off. Uh huh. But a uh, robot, if you power up to a robot and it goes down, then you Ooh. end up with something that's like just really just awful. Uh, awkward. Yeah. Full blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it bounced. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh. I you stole still, a you, base. You still, I didn't see that. Oh, is that why you were going? Okay. I see what happened. I see what happened. And of course, it didn't go right to the pitcher, so I couldn't. Uh, Oh, 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 where's it going? Where's it going? All right. There we go. Right to the fielder. I always hate when that happens. You know, like you hit it right to him. I'm like, oh. No, I, I do appreciate a little bit of auto fielding, so it doesn't make you like do all that stuff by yourself, since you can't see the whole field all the yeah. time. Too far out, I could have hit that. Could have got that with a tip. Nope. Dangerous. Oh, 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 oh we can get this double play. play. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that was rough. Oh, your your uh, pitcher's getting a little gas. Oh, really? Wow, not a good ending for me. And so far, you've had the better innings overall. Yeah. Well, it's still one to nothing. Ah, uh, jeez. Yes. That's good. Get it. Thank you. Jessica. Jessica! Jessica! Uh, that show was... Uh, oh, it's so it was messed so up. good, but it was so messed up. Oh, no! Oh, I hit no! a cracker! I hit a cracker, oh no. Oh, awkward. Uh, you might be, you might be uh, bringing it back. Oh. Oh, I should have thrown it at third. I could have still caught you. You were already on first. Okay, one thing you gotta be careful of is it doesn't, uh, Ooh. <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah, my runner didn't go. No, it doesn't make him go automatically. You have to, uh, if there's not another not player to pressure pushing them. them. Yeah, you got to be careful. They will, uh, they'll, uh, yeah. Oh, Lordy. Oh, oh, I made with the scoring. Yeah, that's, uh, there's nothing I could do there. All right, so my pitcher's going to... Glow winded, so I'm gonna 
sub in another pitcher. Who's my next best pitcher? Oof, Ninja 2. Man. She's like the best by a, by a long shot. So I don't like having to get somebody else in. Oof. You know? Oof. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah. Close right to a fielder. Is my pitcher getting wounded? Yeah, it looks like you might wanna. Oh man, you got a way better pitching staff than I do. Daria. So uh, she got got t she uh, got tired of Lawndale and became a professional baseball player. I think it was Lawndale. Is that the name of the town in Daria? I don't know. I think it's the same one from Beavis and Butthead, isn't no, it? No. Uh, the, basically, the premise of uh, Daria is that they move away from... Uh... Oh, jeez. I shouldn't move my player for us. Uh... I didn't realize he wasn't running. They, uh, they move out of wherever Beavis and Butthead is set. And, uh... Oh, Oop. that was supposed player. to happen. Now, the interesting is that you you can actually like injure. Oh, uh, that's not good for me. Get back, get back. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can actually uh, injure players by beating them. Oh, what's this now? More crackers. Oh my. Yeah. After I oh, and you're your, your powered up robot, huh? Oh, apparently so. I could just block you. Good. Oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good for me. Oh. Home run. I must hit the wrong button. I was trying to. I was trying to jump and catch it. So you got to go thing when we're walking. Oh yeah. Make a big deal out of it. Oh, Blurns ball. <laughs> Plurns, plurns, plurns! Hold on, I have a lot of money now. You do. Who am I playing as? Daria. Daria. He's also your pitcher. Oh, apparently this is National League. Okay. Yeah. Now remember, of course, you have different power-ups. You can uh, hit right to select other ones. Um, Worth pointing out that you do not get a discount if you already have one of the previous power-ups. Uh, so you're, you're replacing Dario with a robot, huh? I guess so. Yeah. Okay, where are my... Oh, really? Come at me, robot. All right, maybe I will. Fooly bool. Yes. It's robots versus women, as foretold by the Terminator. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, buddy. Safi. He had his arms up, so I'm like, okay, he's right there. He wasn't right there. Oh, he's still running. <laughs> Wait, you Wait, what? I don't know. Did you... Get to home? No. Oh, you had to go back because I caught, I caught you out. Oh. Yes, that is a rule of baseball. I also forgot about that. <laughs> More crackers. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Oh, hey, I replaced Jessica with a robot. No, you replaced Daria. Daria, yes. Right. Oh, and what? oh, and it broke. Oh, what? What? Oh, really? Uh, okay, you know what? Never mind. It's even close yeah. enough. Close enough. That, that's enough baseball. That so, was interesting. Yeah, so my cartridge might need a little cleaning, but uh, <laughs> it's still pretty. It's it makes baseball interesting by yeah. adding in robots and explosions and making everything really ridiculously over the top. We weren't actually able to do it in the game, though. We did get some footage of the rolling demo showing you you can jump and catch. 
home runs. Somehow. Yeah. Well, they've got they've got uh, bracket boosters. Well, no, yeah. just somehow I, I don't know how you do that in the controls. Yeah, I I thought it was the C button. Maybe it's the A, A or B button. I don't know. Maybe you just throw the controller. Yeah. I don't think that would work, but uh, if Didn't you try ever it. get your own Genesis, maybe you could you could try that with your own Genesis and not mine. <laughs> but either way, you know this is this is my favorite baseball game, which probably isn't saying much because I don't usually play baseball games and I kind of normally don't have, like. <laughs> so, but at least women were integrated in yes, the league. Yes, doing you know push up bras, but yeah, and and had open cleavage. Yeah, yeah, you know. Still the most unrealistic part of the game is that they actually integrated women into Major League Baseball. <laughs> Shots fired at society. Oh, watch out. But there you go. It's, you know, it, it I don't know enough about baseball to describe the rules of baseball that it does not follow. I mean, for the most part, it follows them. Yeah, there are a few. Uh, there are a few. Uh, I, I read something about this, and I was like, okay, I don't know what any of this And obviously, means, so. like, if the foul lines are here, and, you know, in the game, there's just the home run zone, but yeah. the entire area between the foul lines is fair game for yeah. home runs. So, yeah, like, like you can, the foul zone is just behind you, and the you foul can zone, roll it past there, and it'll be fair. Yeah, it, the foul zone is sort of pat right here. Which is not a real baseball thing. No. So the that's, foul zone that's something that I know. Real baseball is like home plate stretching out like that. Yes, that is that is uh, something we can point out. And then those are the two lines, and then that whole area is the foul line. Yeah, uh, I do like uh, it, it. Basically, uh, it pauses the future in which baseball is a worldwide sport. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when we were on team selection team, there are teams from all over the world. All over. There's a Naples team. There's like a Korean team. Etc. and so forth. Uh, not that I would know because I always play as the Ninja Black Sox because why wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, though there is a one limitation in the game is even when you're just playing one versus player versus two player, you can't have interleague matchups for some reason. Hmm. The, the only way you can do that is playing like a full season and you, you play whoever wins the other league uh, in the World Series. Interesting. I don't know why they do it that way. Bob. Yeah, that's, that is a little weird. I mean, I under, I mean, at least for the home version, you think when you're just playing a two-player game. Yeah, you could just have whoever, exhibition. But, uh, but for some reason, it doesn't Borp. do that. That's weird. I don't know. Uh, so this game is, uh, you know, being a licensed game, it, it uh, hasn't, this particular port hasn't been re-released. But it is possible to get the original arcade Neo Geo version on Wii Virtual Console. Oh, As I mentioned earlier, it's under 2020 Super Baseball. Not Super Baseball 2020. Yeah, so if you have a weird Distinctions! Well, it's, it's, it makes a big difference as where it's going to fall in the alphabet. Uh, so if you have a Wii or Wii U, you can um, go into Wii U. Or you like to just say Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. Yeah, you, Wii U, can, you Wii U. can go into the original Wii shop and buy it in uh, their Neo Geo section. Now, unfortunately, uh, SNK doesn't seem to like to put it on their other collections. Other other places, you're just going to be finding like Baseball Stars, which is the more realistic one. And who wants to play a baseball game with without cyborgs and robots? I certainly don't. I I don't either. Yeah. So so uh, if you want to get this, I again I recommend the Neo Geo version. It's uh, bigger sprites, better speech. So you go Generally from the same you go play. from like a can of Sprite to like a two liter. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. A lot more Sprite. <laughs> so there you go. This is actually a game I played in the arcade. Uh, a yeah. lot. I, our local arcade had it in their Neo Geo. So I'd be like, that's that's why I bought it. It's like oh, Super Baseball 2020. I love this game, and now I can take it home and play it on my Genesis. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I was very excited about that. I, also, I think we also had the... Uh, I've seen the Super Nintendo version, but I've never played it. Hmm. Uh, from what I'm reading, it doesn't seem like it's quite as good as me missing some features from the arcade version for whatever reason. I don't know why. Ian can't tell you these things. No. Ian does I, I not own know. a Super Nintendo. Yeah, it was actually ported by a different company since you know, it wasn't released by EA. So, but we won't go... In, I didn't bother researching that because we're, we didn't play that today. 
We did not. Yeah, so. Well, you can do that as self study if you're interested. Yes. Yes. But either way, if you enjoyed us playing most of a baseball game until the game crashed, <laughs> make sure you give this video a like. If you want to make sure you catch future episodes in which we, let's face it, probably will not be playing a baseball game, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I've been Dan Mastriani. You can catch me on Twitter at, at NewTypeCole. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at Ian G. Butterfield. You can find the show at RetroGamesCNCT, Facebook.com backslash RetroGameConnect, and RetroGameConnect.tumblr.com. Send a suggestion for our episodes. If we can get a hold of the game, we might just play it. Ask us questions about, you know, what games we've played. I don't know, production, uh, or yeah. uh, my dog. Yes. What yeah. games we're playing now besides these? Yeah. I, um, I've i been using a lightsaber in Fallout, you know, as you would probably expect. I've been busy making the show. <laughs> I've been busy working three jobs. There you go, there you go. So, always fun. Always. <laughs> anyway, most importantly, make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect.